Okay, so here I come into frame. I hope. Well, wow, it's been like forever since I've uh, made a recording. Um, and I think the last uh, video uploaded was called uh, Labels or what, what kind of labels are you? Because I was wearing a little hat and had a label on. But anyway, it's been a while, you know, and when I started uh, the Let's Be Frank uh, video blog, it was all about uh, the enthusiasm at the time. And I did warn that, you know, perhaps uh, depending on um, the motivation that I would have, how often it would happen. And at the beginning, yes, it was fantastic. There's always something to say. People always have something to say. I always have something to say. I'm highly opinionated. Um, and that's the reason for me doing this. Um, and if this is your first time for watching, welcome. This is uh, my video blog. My name is Z, also Zahida. And it's called Let's Be Frank because basically what uh, I want us to do on this platform, what I'd like to do on this platform is be frank. Uh, frank uh, on very many matters. People try to sweep things under the rug or we live in a world where, or we would like to live in a world uh, where everything is hunky-dory and race is not an issue and uh, we don't see color and money doesn't matter and all of that bullshit. We know that is bullshit, okay? It is the ideal, but it is not the truth. It's not the reality. Let's be frank, you know, um, we all have a little bit of uh, issues with lots of different things but be that as it may i don't have a specific subject to talk about or to tackle today uh the idea is basically just to catch up and post the video and say hey everyone how are you doing i'm still out there i'm still trying to be relevant <laughs> but in a world that is constantly changing it's practically impossible to keep up with technology it's fantastic um everyone on instagram on twitter um on all the different media platforms that I am visible on. Thank you very much for liking or to indicate any comments that you may have. Um, I am on Instagram as well as ZFactor13. And I've got uh, responses on quite a few things and I like that, of course, that was the reason why I started this. Um, not for popularity, but in order to share my thoughts, my views uh, and news with everybody else. Um, so anyway, let's, let's get straight to it. Um, Obviously, the world doesn't stand still, doesn't matter if I decide to go on or stay off or whatever the case may be, it'll keep on turning. And in this last few months, it's been whew, turning at such a fast pace. Uh, sometimes I wish, and I think that's one of the reasons I also pressed pause on what I was doing is I was, I was just trying to keep up with... Uh, you know, and at times it's just become so overwhelming. I really uh, think I, I was hoping that I would have the guts to switch off from social media. At times I just want to, I see things that are so disgusting or so disappointing or so alarming or so shocking that I just, I, I shake my head and I think, no man, uh-uh, I don't want to be a part of this. But you can't, you, you can't really, you are a part of this world. This is what it, ha this is, you are, you know, you're not on your own. You have. You have to be a part of it. So whether you want to comment or not. And so I really gave it a bit of a rest. Um, but right now, just I think the initially what started my blog was the um, the Paris, the Je suis Charlie and the, the, the attack Paris attacks there. And again, it's just something now that has given momentum has been another attack of sorts. You know, it is has been the... Um, uh, the policeman or the, the, or the school parole uh, officer, patrol officer in a school in the United States that, that violently grabbed a teenage girl and literally threw her across the floor and out of her chair. Um, unacceptable, totally unacceptable, of course. Ad nauseum, it's been covered in the news everywhere. And, and again, I feel exactly the same. How can a policeman come into uh, a school, or if, even if it is his job to treat uh, her that way? But at the end of the day, again, it just boils down to the fact that it was a white policeman and a black child. And my God, the amount of times that this happens in the United States, insane, that it still happens today. The same with gun violence, the same with police brutality. And, you know, it's so wonderful that um, uh, besides it, you know, uh, being caught on tape, which is the way that things are being done these days, uh, Trevor Noah, uh, our resident born South African who is now making it um, on The Tonight Show, also recently spoke about, you know, how cops are afraid to do their jobs because of 
they'll be caught on camera and they should be brought to book and should be you know but also mindful that you know everything shouldn't be done on camera says I doing this on camera hilarious but uh, what I mean by that is for example we are so fixated also on the camera and capturing absolutely everything that happens all the time that we forget to participate in the act itself um, working in a restaurant at night I see that quite often um, people sit down to eat and you know before they eat they take photos of the food they take photos of themselves it gets uploaded immediately not that I mind as long as hashtag Z hashtag haiku hashtag snuggles guide dog um, but yeah that that's you know part of the way we live today but uh, one of the other saddest spots also is is capturing those moments those shocking moments on camera um, and then all possibly standing by because uh, of the, the wow factor or the amount of hits you're going to get for that video or for that photograph. For example, if you see um, an incident, yes, that you want to catch on camera, but nobody's life is in danger. At one stage or not, you must make the decision, you know, I'm going to have to put the camera down to actively participate to stop this fight or to stop this abuse taking place or to stop or just to save someone or to stop any injustice that is happening at this moment put your camera away because uh, there will be others definitely there will be others and what part are you going to play uh, instead of being the bystander that records are you going to become an activist um, and you know be um, actively change what it is that you're forming and I mean again shock value across the world and across the nation uh, one of the pictures that really uh, reverberated across the world was the one of the little boy who washed up on the beaches in Turkey, uh, a toddler, serene a refugee, and that was, you know, it just, as I say, broke the internet. And again, I looked at that and um, as millions and millions of people across the world, and we were shocked that, you know, that something like that could happen. But somebody took that photograph and it got out and it got the shock value, it got the attention that we needed across Europe for people to say, okay, you know what, uh, we're going to help. And I must say the European Union and Germany especially has helped uh, millions and millions of refugees obviously you know uh, are now trying to flee and seeking a better life and and thousands upon thousands of them are fleeing across the borders uh, in Europe and I know that you know it must also have huge impact for the current residents and for the current people that live there you know um, uh, it's it's going to change people's lives on both sides of that story um, same here you know we have our locals that lives here but people across Africa comes into South Africa uh, looking for a better life as well so we understand that we understand war we understand poverty we understand hunger and we are st for people to die along the way and then for those images to get out the power of the media today in order to make change across the world. Um, and, and that's where it is at the moment. So I'm going to leave it at that. There is still much more to talk about. Um, it's, it, it's just that I'm glad to be back on camera relevant hopefully my story resonates with you have a look at my other videos and see if it is what you like if you do like it do subscribe if uh, you want to hear more any certain subjects that you want to uh, me to talk about i'd be happy to do so but there's always something happening everywhere all over the world and as a highly opinionated person i'd like to talk about it hopefully it makes you think hopefully it makes you uh want to participate but uh, let's be frank, we're all after a better life for all of us. We're all after uh, the hits uh, at this stage. That's not what I'm about. I just want to talk to you, want to have dialogue and hopefully um, make you think. So keep watching um, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye.